Tonight we have a closer look at new efforts to keep teenagers safe from abusive dating relationships. Teen abuse has reached alarming proportions. One and a half million high school students in this country report being victims of dating violence each year. So now a growing number of schools are teaching teens how to protect themselves. ABC's Gigi Stone reports. Your first high school boyfriend, a rite of passage for millions of teenage girls. But most don't realize it's a relationship that can result in something they never considered. How many of you have known someone who was a victim of dating violence? All of you. We all see it, you know, if not day to day, at least, you know, once a week or something in the hallway at school. According to the Department of Justice, one in 10 high school girls reports being abused by a boyfriend. Teenagers are more prone to violence because of their uh, rapidly changing hormone levels and that their brain is still developing. Ann Burke's daughter, Lindsay, had an abusive boyfriend who got out of control. When Lindsay tried to break up with him, he murdered her. Mothers are supposed to protect their children, and there are times that you just can't. Burke has turned her grief into action, pushing legislators in Rhode Island to require every school district in the state to annually teach middle and high school students about dating violence. Teachers warn about behavior that seems perfectly harmless but can actually be a precursor to violence, such as obsessive phone calls and text messaging and someone telling their partner what to wear or who to be friends with. It's not just Rhode Island. Texas recently adopted a law requiring school districts to define dating violence and safety codes. Indianapolis just started a program to train police in public schools to recognize signs of relationship abuse. A lot of kids think that this is normal, that this is how a relationship's supposed to be. Oh, he's checking up on me all the time. He's calling me all the time. Isn't that great? Well, sometimes those are the little warning signs that we don't pick up. Some argue teachers shouldn't teach about relationships. Parents should. But those supporting the new laws say these lessons will not only empower teenage girls, they may save their lives. Gigi Stone, ABC News, South Kingstown, Rhode Island. And we have more on how you can learn to spot early warning signs of teen dating violence and find ways to prevent abuse by logging onto our website, abcnews.com.